Just going to take a quick look at electron configuration and periodic table blocks. So we'll just start with some basic information. The periodic table is divided into four blocks. So they are S, P, D and F. And the block indicates the subshell location of the highest energy electron. So there's just a reminder of the energy ladder for the subshell. So you can see one S is at the bottom. And for A level, you only have to go up to 4P. So that's all I've included in the diagram. So if the highest energy electron is, let's say, in a P subshell, we would class the element as a P block element. So I'll just give you some specific examples now. So there's sodium and its electron configuration. So I've coloured in the highest energy electron in blue. So that's a 3S subshell. So it's classed as an S block element. Carbon, highest energy electron is in that 2P subshell, so that's P block. Iron's highest energy electron is in a 3D subshell, so that's classed as D block. And you'd never have to write the electron configuration for something like terbium. Maximum we've got to do is 36 electrons. But there's terbium's full electron configuration, and you can see its highest energy electron is in that 4F subshell. So that's classed as an F block element. So if we look at where these blocks are now on the periodic table, so starting with S block, there it is there in blue. Now you'll notice helium is over on the right hand side there, not with the rest of the S block. And um, that's because it has more in common with the noble gases. So it's put with them. However, it is an S block element. Its electron configuration is 1s2, so it's highest energy electron is in an S subshell. There's the P block, there's the D block, and there's the F block.